Parts of Solano County went without AC during the hottest part of the day. PG&E hustled to restore energy, but not fast enough for some. And tonight, CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live getting answers on how PG&E prioritizes restoring power. Laura? Well, residents in Vacaville tell us it was too hot today to even enjoy the pool or the river. Now, without those two, you're left with the air conditioning, right? But what if that is also not working? That's what residents in Vacaville had to deal with on what's sure to be one of the hottest days of the year. With temperatures topping out at 115, Vacaville went lights out on one of the hottest days of the year. The power went out for, I want to say, maybe close to two hours. Parts of Solano County lost power midday, leaving customers without cool air. But for one, the outage added insult to injury. My AC went out like five days ago. Lori Amarant works from her Vacaville home as a nurse, relying on portable units for relief. But Monday, those stopped working too. So this portable AC right here, it's fairly, I mean, you can certainly hear that it's on. When this sound went off, what went through your head? Oh, crap, because my, my first initial instinct was I was on the phone with a patient. Yeah. So that not only interferes for me as a nurse, it interferes with patient care. Concern for her patients, but forced to call out of work. It's close to 90 in my house. Unfortunately, I had to call in sick because I don't really have air conditioning. I have two kids here. Losing out on much needed money. It's holiday pay, so I'm out over $2,000. We've reached out to PG&E, who tells CBS 13 more than 5,800 customers were out of power in Vacaville. Despite a nearby grass fire sparking at the same time, the agency had no explanation for the unplanned outage. PG&E was able to switch customers to a new power source, restoring the area, but not before thousands were affected. Things got super hot super quick. So how does California's biggest power company prioritize their response. PG&E tells us they'll send crews to affected critical infrastructure first, like hospitals, and then they'll head to areas where the most people are affected. PG&E did restore power to the more than 5,000 customers, but the residents we spoke to say their concern tomorrow will just get worse. Well, if the power does go out, check on your neighbors, especially those who have medical needs. All right, Laura, thank you. Yeah.